Top 10 things about Linfield. Number 10, wild stock. Wild stock, anybody? You, you like the wild stock? Do you remember the wild stock? Number nine thing. It's kind of like a name your own adventure. Number nine thing about Linfield. Road trips to Portland. Yeah. Okay, what about this? Road trips to Walmart. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Berlin Walmart, all right. You're learning about the campus. There's a Walmart, he's like, I, I can't wait to go to Walmart when I go to this school. Yo, keep, yo, finish the tweet, it's okay. You're a junior in high school. So you're skipping a grade, you're gonna come here? Oh, no, you actually go here, you're just, so they're just coming to like, drop off like a Costco shipment with you or something, like here's 40 Nutri-Green bars and go, good parents, good parents, all right. Someone who's still on their mom's family plan. <laughs> I don't know why I just admitted that. I, I help her out though. Don't use too much data. That's all I'll say. Don't use too much data. Or, or if you are going to use enough data, call, call Verizon and let them know to change the plan. Let mom make you an account manager. That way you can accept responsibility, but still have mom and dad hook you up. So that's all I'm saying. Damn, I gotta. <laughs> that's it. Other than that, I'm on my own. I'm fully on my own, guys. It's just the family plan thing. I really. Yeah, okay. Other than that, I'm really on my own. Like, my mom's not picking me up after the show or anything like that. I totally drove here myself. It's okay. Anyway, why did I get on that tangent? Oh yes, Walmart's awesome. Okay, number eight thing about Linfield, guys. The list of people that have gone here. If you like this person, just treat it like Tinder. If you like this alumnus, swipe right. If you don't like the alumnus, swipe left. So for example, First alumnus is a, uh, a translation theorist known as Douglas Robinson. Douglas Robinson went to Linfield. When you Google Translate, shit, it's probably him that's doing it. So, <laughs> Douglas Robinson, just one? Okay, sorry, swipe left. Okay, sorry. <laughs> the writer of the Joy Luck Club, Amy Tan, went to Linfield. <laughs> I got my swipe left. Okay. There's gotta be someone. Uh, Scott Brocious, former baseball player, went to the field. Scott Brocious, anybody? Woo! Okay, just like right for Scott Brocious. Yeah, and finally, there's someone named Joe Medicine Crow, who's like the only one to yeah. get a Presidential Medal of Honor from Joe Medicine Crow. Uh, should I change his credentials? Um, former Mafia boss, Joe Medicine Crow. But, uh, sleazy crowd, sleazy crowd. <laughs> We like to handle situations a certain way, okay? <laughs> Number seven thing about Linfield, your football team. Yeah! Very good. Your baseball team. Woo! Softball team. Woo! Any other groups I should yell out? Yeah! The basketball! One, the basketball team. Yeah! Were you saying like the Harry Potter Club? Yeah. The study abroad group, they're not here right now for obvious reasons. <laughs> Two in the afternoon where they are, so. Study your brother. Me, I missed my flight. Okay. It's very expensive to change flights. You drove, you didn't fly, right? You drove from Seattle. Good job, it's hard to change flights. All right, moving on. Number six thing about Linfield. If you're ever constipated, just eat and dill and you'll totally be okay after that. What's it, dill hole? You call it dill hole? I, I like the Dylan, I like calling it, I'm gonna call it the Dylan Deuce. Go to Dylan, go to Deuce. In my college it was called, we called pulling a deuce, so he's eating dinner for two hours. That's what we call pulling a deuce, but yours is a lot worse. So, uh, it's okay. Number five thing about Linfield, if you have a bad day, just blame it on the campus Wi-Fi, guys. Just blame it on the Wi-Fi. Liam dumped me, Mary Grace. Blame it on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Mary Grace dumped me. Blame it on the Wi-Fi. Fell in the shower. Blame it on the Wi-Fi. There's too much dew on the grass. Blame it on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Hurts my network. <laughs> Number four thing about Midfield. If you can find a parking space here, you know it's going to be a good day. <laughs> but, I, but I do hear they write you guys tickets, right? They write you guys like a lot of tickets. Like... $95 now, I heard? Dude. If you ever catch them writing you a ticket, you break out a piece of paper, you write them a ticket back. Write them back! <laughs> Econ majors here, more expensive ticket. That's what you gotta do. Charge interest on the ticket. 
shipping and handling on the tickets. Federal tax on the tickets. You made a profit, bitch. Yes! <laughs> Number what number three number three thing about Linfield guys. If you run into anyone you don't like, this is what you do. When they're not looking, change their major to nursing. You'll never see them again. Never. <laughs> it also goes the other way. Nursing majors. If it ever gets too hard, just switch to business. Okay? Is there anything easier than business? Business it is, okay. Going on. Number two thing about Linfield. I say without Linfield, the town of McMinnville would be nothing. You guys are McMinnville. I drove through McMinnville. I know what else is there. Not much. <laughs> it's RVs for sale at a gas station. And those RVs are so not fuel efficient that you have to go to the gas station every time you pass it. Well, you do have, you do have tequila grill. So tequila grill, RVs. Taco Bell, that's, well that's it, you only have like, you only found spare change on the ground and then you go to, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, McDonald's or Taco Bell, you chose Taco Bell, that's all right. Pull that lever on November, okay? Pull that Taco Bell lever, okay? What else? Oh, the number one thing, what is the number one thing about Linfield? You're not George Fox. <laughs> more George Fox. I hear they're like really conservative over there. Not that it's bad, I just, I think they're so conservative that they may not even have anuses. But either way! Top 10 things about Linfield, there you go guys, round of applause for yourselves.